is Kimberly Hendricks. I'm a co-owner here at Buddy Hendricks Motorsports as a race car engineer and road race driver. Well, my father introduced me to speed and adrenaline at a very young age. And I watched his success through the years, leading professional teams to race wins, championships, and driving himself. I wanted to be like him, and I wanted to carry on his legacy. He provides me with the best tools, knowledge, and experience. I mean, 48 years of experience being taught to me at 25 years old, it really sets me on a fast track. I from my family, my friends are my biggest influence. They support me in ways that just drive me harder to succeed. I am very, very blessed to have those people along my side. Well, I'm pretty sure every female driver has been asked the Danica question. In the public eye, she's well known as like a novelty. Every female racer has their own skills. Some are great drivers, some are great at marketing. Danica's marketing is what has gotten her on the track continuously. It's extremely hard for anybody. It's not just about getting the money, but it's about what you're willing to do to earn their sponsorship and keep it. You see all these stickers on these cars. It's not just about that. It's about being a great brand ambassador. It's about promoting through social media and gaining interest in the fans. I believe that females are pretty evenly spread out amongst all different types of racing. Some probably it's just what they've been introduced to and they stuck with it, or it's more like a preference, like your favorite ice cream. So it's whatever makes you happy. In Oval, you only have one flagger and he sits on the start stand versus having a flagger in every single corner. Then you only have to look at your left side mirror versus looking at your left right and your rear. The similarity is is that at the end of a straight, there's a turn. You brake the same, you turn the same, you accelerate the same. The only difference is, is instead of just going left, you're going left and right. Male or female, we, we share many similar challenges like getting sponsorships, making sure that we're in the best mental and physical condition, winning races, and sometimes dealing with a number of ego-driven competitors that don't like your accomplishments. And it tends to be a little bit higher for females. Definitely in the professional ranks of sports car racing, like the Rolex 24 at Daytona or the 24 Hour at Le Mans, working with legendary racers and engineers. And along the way, I want to inspire females that we can do anything our heart desires.